In this video, I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to separate images into individual layers for multi-layer parallax. And multi-layer parallax is a great way to add depth to images. So I'm going to just show you really quickly how to do that. So as you can see, I'm selecting an individual layer from within this image. And I'm doing that by using the magnetic lasso tool finding the section and then copying and pasting it from the original image into its own layer and that's done with uh, control shift V. So as you can see magnetic lasso grab one of the sections or layers of an image cut it which is control X and then paste it right into a new layer right where it lays using control shift V. And you can see that I'm separating this image into specific layers uh, and then pasting it just right back into the image. And it's, it's honestly a very simple and easy process, especially when using the magnetic lasso tool. So grab it and then just paste it right back in. And you can see that the image actually had a filter applied to it and that's done by using uh, filter gallery effects. Filter gallery effects are very easy and simple to apply uh, and you can already see exactly what's going to happen uh, with those effects. So go to filter uh, filter gallery effects and then this effect is the cutout effect and this is what I use whenever I do multi-layer parallax uh, I just make it into a filter gallery effect and then separating it like that because images which is natural layers when you put that filter on top of them uh, the images get even more layers applied to them so here you can see that I am uh, now now we have all of the image separated into layers and now I'm cleaning up those individual layers First, I'm going to remove the edge, the edge blemishes, and then I'm going to expand the image down to the bottom by using the normal lasso tool and painting in uh, colors directly into that layer to make sure it expands from the bottom to the image element. And here are the mountains. This is the mountain image layer. And I'm going to just paste in the predominant color right into that image layer using the uh, paint bucket. And the reason I'm doing this is for two two main reasons. Uh, the first reason is that by making sure every individual layer is aligned to the bottom of the canvas, it's much easier when we're placing it into a website to align everything to the bottom because everything is aligned to the bottom, especially when expanding it like this. So it just makes things a lot easier to do. Furthermore, uh, you can see that by expanding things to the bottom, uh, with multi-layer parallax, things are bound to move around on the screen. And because each layer is moving at different speeds, you're going to see a little bit of that uh, newly painted section uh, in which you wouldn't see in a, in a standard image. So because the standard image only captures one perspective and a multi-layer parallax is showing multiple perspectives at each scroll distance on the screen, uh, we need to go ahead and add in more coloration that expands all the way down below uh, to the bottom of the canvas. And because of that, uh, when the individual layers move around, you'll just see a block of color if you see anything at all. And that's a very, very uh, simple effect. And you won't really see any, any crazy deviation from that image. So here you can see we're cleaning up and finishing up the image. And... Uh, you can see all the layers right there and once everything's expanded down and once everything's cleaned up uh, you can see that everything can be broken down into layers all the layers are expanding to the bottom of the page and we can simply go ahead and uh, select all the layers right click on them and quick export as PNG then you can go ahead and follow my other video tutorial on how to do multi-layer parallax with Elementor this is just the way to export the individual layers. You can also do multi-layer parallax uh, in many applications in WordPress simply by using uh, a JavaScript library or CSS or something else like that. Uh, and just go check out the, the link in the description below to the blog post where I talk about this or the link to the YouTube video. Hope this was a helpful video, taught you how to uh, expand the layers pretty simply. And uh, I'll be back with another one real soon.